Hey guys, this is Brandy with another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use my Sun Flare overlays. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to locate the folder of save the overlays to. So mine is right here. And next, you want to find the Sun Flare that best resembles the coloring in your image. For me, it'll be this one right here. Okay, so here's my Sun Flare overlay. Um, when placing your overlay, you really, really should look at where the sun is actually coming from. So I can see that she has rim lighting coming over here from the right side of the image. And I can see the sun peeking from there as well. So I know that that's where my main light source was. And so my Sun Flare will look more realistic in that area. So I'm going to place it. Before I stretch it out or anything, I'm going to go and change my blending mode to screen. So I'm just going to stretch it out a tad. When you're done, click on the check mark. Alrighty, so that looks pretty good. Um, I do see this harsh line going across my image, and that's just, it's an overlay, it happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer mask, and I'm going to select B on my keyboard for my brush tool, and make sure that your opacity is at 100%, and that you have a soft brush selected. So now I'm just going to paint that line away. And that's much better. I personally like how, I guess you can say harsh the sun is looking right now. But if that's too much for you, that's totally fine. You can go in and lower the opacity. And lastly, right click your background and then select flatten image. So that's all there is to it. So if you've bought this pack of overlays, thank you, thank you so much. And if you haven't, check them out at www.brandyrenephotography.com. Thanks, guys. Bye.